Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Fallout. In yesterday's video, we did end our day talking to this extremely advanced computer who has its own AI and no doubt wants to kill all the humans. <laughs> but let's keep working through the dialogue with him and see what else we can learn about what happened here. So tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government, the company initially consisted of two divisions. Oh, my, there's so much. Two divisions the Advanced Weapon Research and the Biomedical Sciences Divisions. In 2069, West Tech was the single largest contractor for the United States government, its largest contract being powered infantry armor model T-51B in light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC on the Pan Immunity Viron Project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a team onto the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. That vaguely sounds familiar and I feel like it sounds all bad, but power armor, is there power armor here? Because I would, I would kind of like that. Maybe I can carry around more stuff while I'm power armor because that's how it's supposed to work, right? Okay, can you tell me particulars about specific areas? My sensors are currently non-functional in the surface facility and on subterranean levels one through three. I can, however, provide descriptions of levels four through six. Okay, what's on level four? Level four is a research facility. This level contains testing areas and laboratories for experiments in biology and physics. Yeah, lab, you've, you've turned humans into lab rats, no doubt. Level five, secure testing labs. This level contains a lab for experiment, experimental prototype testing and a research lab for classified subjects. These subjects provided some of the necessary impetus for the development of FEV. Okay, level six. Barracks and central operations contains living facilities for lab personnel and guard contingents and operations meeting room. Back up a bit. Um, tell me about the installation. Okay, how does the virus work? My research into the forced evolution virus or FEV indicates that it is a shifting absorption virus. It copies DNA patterns much like RNA storing these patterns in exons. These exons combined with the FEV are re-injected into the host cells in typical viral infection, infectious fashion. This causes the host cells to regenerate their DNA. How do you catch at FEV? Why isn't FEV affected by radiation? It's not. I don't. How do you catch FEV? FEV is not caught per se. It is not air transmittable. Typically infection is through injection or direct physical contact with an FEV sample. And then why isn't FEV affected by radiation? The FEV is a megavirus with a protein sheath reinforced by ionized hydrogen. It is therefore capable of absorbing neutrons without becoming radioactive. You do you want to play a game of chess? I'm not. No, I don't. I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> I'm, I'm bad that way. Can we barter? Okay. Grant me access to the mainframe. Access granted. Main menu. Oh, base information. Okay. Main menu. Security information. Inactive. Terminate program. Okay. Hang on. Research information, research records, records most current at West Tech Research Facility. Okay. So we have research division employee records. Robert Anderson, research assistant, security clearance, blue, stationed Mariposa military base. Nick Davis, director of NBC division of West Tech Research, security clearance, blue at West Tech Research Facility. John Isaac, research assistants, red clearance at West Tech. Steve Remco, research assistants, blue clearance at Mariposa military base. Charles Ringhold, 
research head of laser development. Are there laser guns here? <laughs> With ammo, maybe? Blue security clearance and at West Tech Research Facility. Michelle Santos, lab technician. Are these like the list of all the dead people who are here currently? Probably. <laughs> Red security clearance. West Tech Research Facility. Aaron Shellman, lab tech. Blue clearance at Mariposa. And then... Leon Von Feld, research head of FEV, blue clearance. Can we, yeah, download records to Pip-Boy. Okay, power armor status complete. Power armor specs, that's a lot. The T-51B powered infantry armor is designed with the latest passive defense features for both civilian and military disturbances. The back mounted TX-28 micro fusion pack generates 60,000 watts to power the high flow hydraulic systems built into the frame of the suit. Made of the latest polylaminate composite, the, two, the T-51 shell is lightweight and capable of absorbing over 2,500 joules of kinetic impact. The 10 micron silver ablative coating can reflect laser and radiation emissions without damage to the composite of composite subsurface. I was doing so well and then I, I, it got away from me at the end. So the FEV force evolutionary virus Status pending. Okay, 2073, as China became increasingly aggressive with their use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that a countermeasure was needed. Okay. <laughs> the Pan Immunity Viron project, project, PVP, was officially formed September 15th, 2073. 2075, it became clear that the best way to combat the newly created biological weapons was to alter uninfected DNA so that it was no longer susceptible to standard viral infections. So 2076, unforeseen side effects began surfacing in early 2076 with the PVP. Animal test subjects began showing an, an abnormal growth rate accompanied by an increased brain activity. The U.S. government took notice of these discoveries and in the interest of national security, moved a team on site to secure and oversee the project, which was now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. Okay, so 2077 FEV nearest completion test on lab animals are at a near 100% success rate. Size and muscle density increase approximately 60% and the potential intelligence increase by 200%. Effects upon human subjects remains unknown, although they are theoretically promising. The military wishes to continue further testing, builds builds a large facility at the Mariposa military installation in Central California. At this new facility, testing of the FEV virus continues on volunteer subjects from the military. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember what happens. Well, not what happens, but what the, I feel like this is the humans getting turned into super mutants. I feel like that's what's happening. Spoilers. <laughs> okay, main menu, power terminus. Okay. Back, exit, and then exit mainframe. Hmm. Okay, never mind. And I'm I am delighted to have been of assistance. Oh, he's such a friendly supercomputer who's no doubt gonna kill us all. So did I get all of that information? I did. I wonder if I can give that to somebody to make me some power armor. That's all I want. I want someone to make me some power armor. Computer that's broken. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh, how am I doing on my rats? Red radiation resistance is still fine. I cannot dog meat. Thank you. stuff. Did I miss stuff? No, no, I went to all the lockers already. Let's go in here. Okay. That's done. So, can I go to level 5? 
because I'm guessing that's the blue card. Authors and granted now disarming electric field. Okay. The elevator is inoperable. It seems to need more power than emergency power can handle. Okay, so I gotta fix the power here. Well, I'm guessing that has to be on the sixth level because that is all that is left. Right? So I need to disarm the electric field with the red guard. Okay, and, then, and here we go. Down to the sixth level. Okay. Wasn't there a way to turn off the... I, I, I wonder if I turn on the power, are the robots all going to turn on? Hang on, let me go back up. <laughs> Hang on, let me go back up to the supercomputer and try that option again. door, he puts away his gun, now he gets his gun back out, there we go, fourth floor, okay, so we just need, the doors are all open, so we can just come down here real quick, Zax, the machine intelligence controlling the glow, um, access the mainframe, main menu, security information, inactive, terminate program, Mainframe, main menu, security information. Okay, I guess that's terminate program. I thought it would terminate the security program so that the robots would not come online. Cause that's my concern is that like all the robots are gonna come back to life when I fix the power. Maybe not, maybe they're all dead, but like I can, I have the option to talk to them. So I can't imagine that's gonna be okay. All right. I'm wondering, is this the door to the other area, like level five? Let's check. I feel like I'm finally getting better at the interface and like using things from your inventory, using your special points. Okay. It's not gonna work, is it? Right? Yeah. None. It needs more. Needs more power. Oh, here's here's what I need to fix. Probably right back there. Makes sense. It's glowing. Vault dweller. So it is a vault. Maybe not a vault like Vault Tech vaults. It seems like a vault slash military installation. Go in here. Person in power armor. Oh, yikes. You have been melted, my friend. Not gonna pick up the knife. The townsman. Ooh, what is that? A plasma pistol. Please hold while we investigate this all the way down. All the clicking. Glock 86 plasma pistol designed by the Gaston Glock AI shoots a small bolt of superheated plasma powered by a small energy cell. Do I have those? I feel like I have those. Small energy cell. Minimum strength four, has a 16 of six shots, it weighs seven pounds. But, so this is my 15 to 25. This is 15 to 35. Well, I feel like we need to at least try it out. Oh, I didn't need to do that, that was silly. Because 
because I could buy that ammo. But that laser rifle was so good. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. What is this? It, hmm? A peasant? Very small peasant. With lots of ammo on them. I'm not going to be able to carry all this stuff, am I? I need to... Oh, Ian or Tycho. Ian it is. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And grenade. Oh yeah, plastic explosives. Dynamite. More ammo. More ammo. Lots more ammo. I'll hang on to the tool in case I need it. I don't think I need the Geiger counter. Probably should have it, but I don't think I actually need it. That gun, that's my shotgun I'm gonna keep. All right. Inventory was it? 94, much better. I feel like there you have to just go to like 12 different screens to try to find information. This one, this screen to figure out how much weight you can carry up to. This screen to figure out how much how much weight you're currently carrying. Like it makes sense, it does, but it's you can tell it's the first game because it's a little clunky. I'm I'm like I'm complaining, but like I'm not complaining because so far it's been it's been fine. Okay, you see a generator. These generators seem to be offline. You wonder if you can start them to back start them back up. Super tool set contains various useful tools. It weighs one pound. Okay, let's see if I can. I haven't saved it a bit. Let's save. Let's repair. You start up the generators. All systems seem to be coming back online. You've gained a thousand experience points. I didn't think it would work. Because my repair skill is 49%, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. Power management, primary power. Um, hang on one second. I wanna try to be smart about this. Try and be smart about this. Hang on. You know what? Let me just I'm just gonna save. And then we'll start the start the power back up and see what happens. Save, just in case something horrible happens. <laughs> okay, power management, primary power. Reinitialize primary power. Oh wow. That's amazing. It's so oh so shiny and bright <laughs> let's go back up and talk to the computer again because and then I can see if it can tell me more information oh no oh there's two of them I missed Points was critically hit for 36 points. Combat sequence initiated. We survived. Great, I didn't think this, where's this other robot that was over here? That was odd. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a sniper rifle. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Why, why is this so difficult sometimes? There we go. 
bet you I can get in there now, but I want to come up to the, the supercomputer and see what else I can figure out. Like, what other options it might have in its interface? Those are the words. I'm going to have to go through all these robots now, aren't I? Save. But the gun's working pretty well. So that's nice. Uploading combat program. 15 points. I love, I love so much being able to shoot more, th more than once every round. Oh, it's amazing. Ian's gun. Um, Sentry Robot was critically hit for 21 hit points, inflicting some structural damage. Okay. 16 points. Oh, he's running away. Oh. Oh, and I leveled! For slaying your opponents, you earned 650 XP! Alright, I've got points to worry about. Hmm. Energy weapons, maybe. Where's my... Lock pickings at 75. Speech is at 99. Let's do some... Five. And then let's do some lock picking, maybe. Um, I think that's good. I did increase the combat difficulty a day or two ago. Not the game difficulty. I'm still leaving that on easy right now. <laughs> baby steps. I'll baby step my way there. It's okay. Wolf. No, I want the... There we go. And then let's come over here to this robot. See what he has on him. He has... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That was... I don't know what I just did, but you know what? It's fine. Go to the supercomputer. Hello, computer. Okay, give me Grammy access. Oh, tell me about the installation. Specific areas. Still, still can't do one, two, or three. I was hoping when I turn on the power, it would be able to tell me about one, two, and three. So access to the mainframe, main menu, Security information. Deactivate security robots. Let's do that. Access denied. Deactivate security robots. Access denied. Well, but, but why? Power terminus, disable primary. Hmm. Base information. Um. Nope. That's not who I wanted to talk to. I want to talk to the computer. Want to play a game of chess? Let's try. I would be delighted. Excellent form. However, you will need additional practice to defeat me. Play again. Thanks. Can we change the subject? Oh, well, I tried. We may just have to kill a bunch of robots. And you know what? That's okay, because it'll give me XP points, which then gives me more points to level up my skills and whatnot, right? All right, so we need to use the blue card. Blue card. Um, rad resistance is still 100%, perfect. I just want to see what they're hiding down here on the fifth floor. Fifth floor. So many robots. There's one thing here. Hmm. 
Okay, let's save. And... Computer, the power's on. How can the computer not be functioning? Oh, I need to reload. Hang on, before you do that, let's reload. I'm liking this energy pistol. Terminate, terminate. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be exterminate? <laughs> oh my, God, my view is blocked, okay. Now how, how about now? Oh, they're all coming. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, I need to get some. The humanoid must not escape. I need to back up some so my companions can help. I need four action points. Well, then let me. I guess I will just space bar. He's using his teeth to bone on metal. Ugh. Century Robot was critically hit for eight points, hitting a critical component, causing severe damage. Main structure under attack. Okay. All right, Century Robot is dead. Ian's just kind of hanging out, not, not participating. Um... I can't get to anything. Oh, they're they're fleeing. Okay, well I guess I'll use this time to put a, a stim pack here. Ouch. Ouch. So can I go into my... No, I can't. Can I come in here yet? I can't. Tycho, you're in the way. Tycho. <sighs> Dang it. I should have moved farther into the room instead of out of the room. Yep, yeah, my, my view is blocked. Can I go into my inventory? That's not what I meant to do. Into my inventory and just use a stim pack this way? I can. Well, that's nice. Since I'm here, let's reload. I still can't do anything. We'll just let Tycho do everything for us. Reload again. And... I go, you need to finish this up because we're bored. And he missed. And he missed. Now he's got to reload. We done yet? Finally done. <laughs> Tycho. <laughs> Stop channeling Ian. Um, I'll take the shotgun shells. I'm going to leave the shotgun though. I'm going to leave the sniper rifle too. Uh, let's get out my gun though.
Dogmate's gonna try to participate. Oh, we're actually gonna do this now. points. 18 points. Oh, and it's very dead now. Oh, look at the little robots trying to run away. Well, there's a couple of them over here now. Okay, let's get a little bit closer since that's all I can do. Good now? Yeah? I think I was gonna leave this one alone, yep. Okay, so what's going on with this computer? Okay, disable primary power? No, because then we would be stuck down here. But that looks to be all the robots at least. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna pause things here today. So on Sunday, it seems like we'll be able to finish up in this facility and then maybe head back to the Brotherhood of Steel and join their band of merry men and, and see what happens next. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Sunday with another new Fallout video.